Hello friends, I'm Ernie the Horse Guy. Welcome to this week's episode of Better Horses TV. We we had an unbelievable day today in Leavenworth, Kansas at Fort Leavenworth here with two of my best friends right here, Bob and Abby Chadwick. We, we've known each other for about a year. We have. And uh, great horse people and wow, you guys really pulled this thing off. We had a blast. Uh, it was a little warm, but we didn't care. Uh, from that standpoint, we haven't made it to the pool yet. No, we haven't. <laughs> yeah. and so, but I tell you what, it was what a great show. What, what so much passion. First of all, thank you. Uh, museum, which was just great. Yeah, the museum was great, and uh, the young lady Faley Overman that took us through there, the historian, and uh, tracing the, the evolution of the horse and supporting America's westward expansion was just incredible. With all all the things that she told us and all the. Um, mannequins of horses and all Wonderful. the everything was fantastic. So much heritage there within there, and you know what was really neat? Then we got a chance. I really liked liked it, spending time at the stables. It's a great community of military families, active duty, and retirees that have horses, enjoy horses, different disciplines of riding, from the hunt club to just pleasure riding the trails. The trail ride was just tremendous. I mean, the beautiful right. trails. And so what was really neat is that if anybody wants to come out and ride these things, they can make arrangements, you know, it to can. get with you and uh, take them out on them rides. Beautiful right. trails. It's a lovely place to ride. Then uh, we come on over here to this beautiful place of yours. We're off base and just a beautiful home you have here. And uh, what a reception you put on for everybody involved. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Folks, go get yourself a cup of coffee. Come on back and join us for more Better Horses TV. No matter what discipline of riding you do, training, showing, and everyday stress is hard on your horse's legs. Decra Veterinary Products is a leading lameness company that brought you Osphos. Osphos is a quadrinate injection, an intramuscular bisphosphonate to help control the clinical signs of navicular syndrome in horses four years and older. Ask your veterinarian if Osphos is right for your horse. Decra Veterinary Products is a proud sponsor of the American. Hey, this is Pastor Frank from Open Range Fellowship. You know, one of the things that gets us more than anything is we get our joy sucked out of us. Through a situation or a circumstance, somebody says something wrong, somebody gets mad, and all of a sudden we just go uh, negative. We just, it's horrible. But Paul said, I choose joy, and we need to choose joy today in the name of Jesus. Let's just pray. Lord, help us to restore our joy. Just fill us with your Holy Spirit today, and help us to get a smile back on our face, and a lift in our step, in Jesus' name, amen. You know, this week, just uh, try smiling at the person in the drive-up window, say God bless you, do something, but ask God to restore your joy in the name of Jesus. God bless you guys, and I'll see you next week. Back in the saddle and out on the trail with Ernie the horse guy now fun will prevail we'll meet the best horsemen under the sun tip our hats to the ladies keep the good lord number one ride along sing your song along with better horses we're right where we belong faith in love from up above Good laughs yet to come. You care about your animals and feeding them the best. And that's where Purina's local Kansas City dealers step in, providing you experience, knowledge, service, and advice. Purina feed dealers are people who believe in community involvement and who believe in you. They have a passion for the feed industry and are committed to helping customers unlock the potential of every animal. If you are looking for a trusted source for your animals, look no further than your local Purina feed dealer, your partner in animal care. In a natural, free-roaming situation, horses graze nearly constantly throughout the day and night. When feeding horses in stables, it's ideal to try to mimic this feeding behavior. Horses in stabled conditions should be fed their hay so they can pick at it continuously between feedings. Visit our website at stanleyforage.com under Nutrition, 
then nutritional resources to help transition your horse from winter to spring in the coming weeks. We really have been looking forward to our trip to Fort Leavenworth. It's a real honor to be the fort's guest. And the fort is absolutely beautiful and so rich in equestrian history. We started our day with a tour of the museum given by a tremendous tour guide and historian, Fay Lee Overman. Fay Lee is loaded with knowledge and rich history of the fort. A highlight was to get to see the actual carriage that Abe Lincoln rode in. Hey, we're having a great time here at Fort Leavenworth in, in Leavenworth, Kansas. I'm here with Colonel, retired Colonel, Mark French, just having a wonderful time. Thanks for letting us come out. It's hot, but it doesn't matter. We're just having a great time. It's good to be here with you, Arnie. And thanks for coming and checking out the equestrian activities here at Fort Leavenworth Hunt. Well, there's a lot of activities. There's trail riding and things from that standpoint. But, you know, one thing that in my former life uh, out there with uh, uh, being with uh, Purina, you guys have a tremendous reputation with your fox hunt. Well, there's the fox hunt as well as the stables activities here on Fort Leavenworth. We, uh, Fort Leavenworth is a great place for people with horses and it has a great history of horse activity. This building, for example, is one of the two or three buildings on post Fort Leavenworth that is being used for what it was originally intended. Although uh, it originally housed the engineers' mules to pull their equipment, Today it's used as an activity, stable activity, for patrons of the Fort Leavenworth uh, Family Morale Welfare and Recreational Activity. The equestrian program is so important to Fort Leavenworth. And why is that, you think? There's so much heritage. We just came a while back from the museum, and uh, just the heritage that comes along with this is just tremendous. Well, that's right. You, Fort Leavenworth, uh, its place in the history of the United States and the expansion of from uh, to the to the west coast fort leavenworth always played an integral part of that and the horse was central to the role that fort leavenworth played so the history and the opportunity the environment here is just really really conducive to having horses in addition to the stable activity you mentioned the fort uh the fort leavenworth hunt which is another interesting piece of equestrian history uh, during uh, the early part of the 19th century uh, it was uh, uh, very fashionable for certain installations out west to establish a formal fox hunt. For example, Fort Riley at the Cavalry School established a fox hunt with a pack of foxhounds, a proper staff with the red coats, and the followers of the hunt around 1910. They were followed by Fort Sill, Oklahoma, Fort Benning, Georgia, and then the last one to come online was uh, Fort Leavenworth Fox Hunt and started fox hunting around 1929. All these fox hunts uh, were active up until World War II. Well, World War II came along and other things were more important than fox hunting and they all closed. Well, Fort Leavenworth is the only remaining active duty military affiliated fox hunt in the United States. So that's a heritage we're very, very proud of but more importantly, it provides military families, uh, service members and their family members and retirees an opportunity to participate in a proper fox hunt as an activity here at Fort Leavenworth. And you talk about, uh, as far as equestrian activities, you have trail riding and other things. You got arenas all around here. Some other the activities, which could you touch on that a little bit? Well, you, you, you put your finger, or you, you mentioned the, the, the big ones. We have an extensive trail system, which the patrons of the stable activity here at Fort Leavenworth can take advantage of. And if you actually live off post, you can come on to post and ride on, on, the, uh, uh, on the trails. And we have arenas for schooling and training, and a lot of activities take place multiple days during the week uh, for individuals that belong to the stable activity or the fox hunt. Well, I tell you what, we really appreciate the opportunity to be here. We got a lot more to see, and uh, thank you so much for being part of Better Horses uh, TV with Ernie the Horse Guy. You're welcome. Glad to be here. Hey. 
Stay tuned, there's more better horses coming your way. What do you get when you bring together one of the biggest names in veterinary medicine with one of the most caring and committed teams of horse health experts in the industry? You get a vaccine portfolio known for its quality and safety. A pharmaceutical line you can rely on to help manage pain and support performance. You get the products, programs and people of Merck Animal Health. One of the questions we get asked a lot is, can the CSI pad be used with a treeless saddle? It absolutely can be. The only difference is gonna be, we have that two and a half inch contour in our pad, and a lot of the treeless saddles only have a one inch contour. So normally I tell people about three fingers is where I wanna see your saddle skirt end at, right in this area. With the treeless, I'm gonna tell you to go back a full hand because that's gonna allow the contours to marry up better between the saddle and the saddle pad because if you're too far forward with your treeless saddle, it's gonna to wanna to push it down in the front end and pop it up in the back and it's not gonna look right. So just remember, move your saddle further back on the pad, but it's great with your treeless saddle and it will help to eliminate the soreness the horses get, especially right across in here. Hi friends, we are having a blast out here at Fort Leavenworth, Fort Leavenworth, Kansas. We're here with the, uh, uh, at the Horse Equestrian Stables, and what a place this is. I mean, they are really big on horses out here, lots of history you're going to see. And uh, I'm here at the barn, and this is where you get down to the, uh, to the grassroots. And I've got two gentlemen here that are a big part of this barn. Let's tell us your name again. Will Halstead. And you're from? Uh, Washington State. Well, and we've got also. I'm Tom Mara. I'm originally from Florida. And the horses are obviously your passion out here. Just having a great time. I hear nothing but great things, Will, about you and everything else. Tell us about what this what this equestrian program means to you out here at Fort Leavenworth. Um, just be able to come out here, enjoy my horse, and do what I can to improve the facility and work on my horse's skills a little bit. You, you obviously are trying to step up the game on your horsemanship and everything. What's your favorite discipline you like riding? Uh, I don't know. Western, just casual some days. Other days I just work on neck reining or side passing. It just depends on the day. Bottom line is you're improving every day. Yes. And then we got, and then also over here, uh, uh, we got Mr. Mayor. Yes, Tom. Tom, we're so glad to have you here. How's horses helped you and you uh, being here at Fort Leavenworth? Oh, it's uh, it's an amazing uh, facility and uh, and program we have out here. It's it's very nice. We have miles of trails, and so you can come, you can get off work or during the weekend you can uh, saddle up and disappear into the woods for hours. So it's re very relaxing, and you can work on your. Now this horse right next to you is actually your daughter's. That's correct. My daughter's uh, she lives in uh, Seattle now, teaching school. But this is uh, this is her horse Dolly, and uh, her gelding Boomer is uh, out in the uh, out in the paddock there. Now you're do you're doing different disciplines out there, getting involved. What what one kind of really gets your your interest? Uh, for me, for the most part, I'm in I'm in trail riding. That's what I do the most of. My daughter, however, on on this horse is Western Barrels. Uh, Racio, and then uh, also rode uh, English in the Fort Leavenworth hunt for two years. How great uh, of a benefit! Of course, you just ended. A, you had a great career, ended up lieutenant colonel yes. in the army. How great was this horse program for you during your career? That's the best. I never, I never had uh, was at a place where I had the time or the opportunity, you know, to to ride again and, and to uh, train a horse. And this this facility here has been. You know, a godsend really. My takeaway from this great facility is everybody chips in and helps each other. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, that's there's there's so much expertise, uh, so much experience in, in all of these dolls and owners that uh, you really don't want for much, if anything, here. Now, Will, I heard people just bragging right and left about getting ready for this event. They said you just really worked your tail off helping on this thing, and you help a lot around the barn. 
Yes, I do. I just thought it would be a good thing to do. I don't really mind helping out. It's always a good thing to do, no matter what. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, we appreciate all what you did, bringing in Better Horses TV here. Thank you for letting us be a part of it, and good luck, and hope to see you again down the trail. No problem. Always happy to help. Thanks for coming. Let's go for a trail ride. I'm ready. I tell you, it's hot, but we're having a wonderful time. Unbelievable time, folks. You should be here, here at Fort Leavenworth, the equestrian stables. Hey, folks, don't go anywhere. We've got more Better Horses coming to you right after this for more sponsors. No matter what discipline of riding you do, training, showing, and everyday stress is hard on your horse's legs. Decra Veterinary Products is a leading lameness company that brought you Osphos. Osphos is a quadrinate injection, an intramuscular bisphosphony to help control the clinical signs of navicular syndrome in horses four years and older. Ask your veterinarian if Osphos is right for your horse. Decra Veterinary Products is a proud sponsor of the American. met up with Gail Rue, who has been heading up the equestrian activities at the board for over 20 years. One of those activities is the fox hunt she heads up. My steed for the afternoon was Killian. He was a real kind gelding who had plenty of experience on the hunt and trails and was a blast to ride. Unbelievable. The trails were beautiful and amazing. We dealt with a little heat, but being on a horseback made it all worth it. This really is a special episode and want to thank retired Colonel Bob Chadwick and his lovely wife Abby for making this happen. Better Horses is so proud of our military and thank you again for letting us be a part of it. When you're a barrel racer, there are so many things that can bother a horse. Just eliminating the back issues is a huge advantage. After using a CSI saddle pad, my horses have improved by having minimal to no soreness across their back. The saddles stay put where they're supposed to be. I feel like using a CSI saddle pad has given me an advantage over other girls because I know that my horse is feeling good, that saddle's not bothering him. If you're looking for a new saddle pad, invest in a CSI. It's worth the investment. Your buddy Ron once said he could install your ceiling fan. He couldn't. And that one time, Ron said another chili dog was a good idea? Yeah, it wasn't. So when Ron said you'd never afford a John Deere tractor, you knew better. Now, Ron does too. The E-Series. Legendary John Deere quality. Unexpected low price. Stop by and see Heritage Tractor at one of its nine locations for your John Deere and Featherlight trailer needs. HeritageTractor.com We are having an unbelievable time here at Fort Leavenworth. And I never, what a show this is fun to do. I've never been more proud to be up here with, with our finest up here. And we're here with Paul and Jen Strzok. Paul, you're an active duty, uh, you're a, a colonel? I am, uh, currently uh, stationed here under Army University. You know how proud we are of you guys, everybody. Uh, well, we're so proud of you and thanks for letting us be up here because we're gonna be talking about a passion you have. Being from do. Texas, it makes sense. It makes sense. Well, we, we appreciate it, first of all. Thank you for having us and thank you for coming here. It's a great facility and uh, we love Fort Leavenworth. We love the Army and uh, we're, this is just an opportunity for uh, us to show our passion, and so we appreciate it. I take it when you get off this, off these, uh, this sport, Jen and you, you both got such a passion for horses. Horses are part of your life. They are, one way or the other, uh, but we, uh, we love them and uh, we gravitate towards them. Uh, we just like working with them and like riding them and, and we really enjoy them. And it makes a great family activity too. And then as a family, we get to come to a post and be supported in what we're doing that's really good for us. You know, we even see families drive by and they get to see the horses and they slow down and they show their little children. And um, 
you know, sometimes even bring them in a little ways and say, see, look. And I remember that's where I got my love of horses. Actually started as a military brat, being brought in a military stable. And my parents would bring me, I would beg all the time and I was just little and they would bring me in. So when I see them bring the little children in, I'm like, come in here, come pet my horse, you know, and you can see that it in their eyes, the love is starting. So you had this sickness a long time. Yes, <laughs> I have. Well, I'll tell you what, it's just a, uh, you know, this horse here, and how great it is from you, active duty all over the world, and to come back and spend a Saturday or more other days with your horses. That's got to help you a bunch. It does. Uh, you know, you get off work, you get to go uh, come and, and be with horses and, and again be with families. So. And be with your wife. <laughs> yes. We have a great time together. He actually took this hobby up because I loved it so much. You got to love it from Texas. <laughs> yes, right. We have it in our, in our DNA. <laughs> That's right. So, uh, do you have any children? We do. We have a 26-year-old and a 23-year-old. Are they active in the horses too? Sometimes, yes. They they enjoy them. Our son has special needs, and they're just very supportive here of him. And he comes out and works with the horses, and everyone is you know looking out for him. And it's just a really good community. Well, here. I'm telling you, talking to Jen and Paul Struck, you're what makes better horses worthwhile. Working with you and seeing you enjoying the horse. It's a little warm, but you know what? It, it, we're in summer. Right. So. And you got to roll with it with horses. you got to roll with a lot of stuff. <laughs> Flies, right. heat, whatever, to enjoy this wonderful hobby. And being from Texas, obviously, we, we know the heat. So uh, this, is, this is warm, but it's not hot yet. Well, I tell you what, we love your horses. you got some great horses. We love being here at Fort Leavenworth, here with Jen and Paul Strzok. Thank you so much for being on part, uh, being a part of Better Horses TV. Well, thank you. Thank you. The first time riding the CSI saddle pad, I could tell that my horse had a lot more flexibility, had a lot more stop, and was a lot more sturdy to the saddle horn. It just looks comfortable for your horses and around their withers, it gives them a lot of room. The way my horses worked, after using the saddle pad one time, I feel like the saddle pads will work on all my horses, and they have a different design for every horse, and I feel like that's very important for performance horses. The CSI saddle pad, I feel, will help me keep my horses working better longer as I'm jackpot and roping a bunch of steers and I need my horses to last as long as they can and work at the best of their abilities. Hello friends, I'm Ernie the Horse Guy. Welcome to our hardy grub on the road in Leavenworth, Kansas. I'm here with Bob and Abby Chadwick. I should say retired uh, Colonel Bob Chadwick and his wife, lovely wife Abby, and my partner Mark Burkdahl and uh, hardy grub and this ship tail Mark. Mark, what about this thing today? We're doing the hardy grub segment from Abby's kitchen. Actually, they're dining room. She put on this wonderful spread for us. They bought the Hard at Grub segment at my house at their Better Horses Within auction we had. So they're going to be guests down to our house later on this summer. So I think they put this on for us free thing. Anyway, they put on a wonderful spread. They treat us to the, the fort out there all day, went to the museum, on a wonderful ride out the stables. It was just awesome. It was just a great time in Abby. We got we meet you, we met you really up at uh, Equifest of a year ago, yes. and just a great time. And my thought is, I know that you didn't cook it, but you had your daughter help you with that. And talk to us a little bit about this spread and how you came up with the idea. Well, um, my daughter helped me, Ashley, and she made the salads, and then. Um, Different women in town made the cakes and the cookies. The cookie lady is awesome. Sister oh, Sweets yeah. cookies here cookies in Leavenworth. Great. Best cookies ever. ever. No need to ever bake. Just go there and pick up cookies. They're awesome. A lot, lot of great resources in Leavenworth for like pastries yeah, and things from yeah. that standpoint. they got a great prison here too, Art. They do. It's an awesome prison. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but I'll tell you, just a great time, and Bob, you guys have been a great host and hostess Thank from you. that standpoint, and uh, uh, it just was a great time today, and we had some wonderful food like you see here tonight. If you didn't get full, it was your own fault. Yes. And Ernie, if I could just say one thing, as a friend of ours, Gail, the lady that mm -hmm. led you on the horse trail uh, today. She did an awesome she, job. She did a great job. 
clearing trails, preparing for this, uh, leading your trail ride today, and uh, she's contributed to the uh, to the food and uh, banquet that we have here. And that's just the kind of lady she is too, and, uh, and other friends. Great she's time. invited me up to go on her coyote hunt. Well, that sounds like a horseback. I want to go do that. Yeah. That's how that sounds like that a hoot. That would be fun. It was a lot of fun, but we just wanted to t take this time to thank you because you guys oh, are no, really loyal you. viewers we of are. Better Horse, and, and you we get other it. folks listening to it and watching it. We appreciate what you do there. Aww, okay. Thank you. And thank you for coming out here and doing a segment here, Ernie and Mark. Uh, I hope we can repay the deal when you come down to our place for supper yeah, here. Yeah, you can. That'd be great. I hear you're going to work for me, anyway. I am. I'm going to come and work at your end. All right. <laughs> so here we are folks here at Bob and Abby Chadwick's unbelievable place lots of kernels up here yeah. lots have more yeah. kernels than in a bowl of uh, old made uh, popcorn yeah, and are. everything like that it's called a flock <laughs> just a great time. And how proud we are with you guys thank you for your service and yeah. thanks for everything thank you. thanks for letting us be a part of this wonderful spread of food and this your hospitality is second to none here at uh, in a wonderful the fort was just super and what a what a nice uh, 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 asset it is for not only the town but the whole country. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Who would have had any idea they had trails like that on the court up there? I, I mean, yes. I, was just, I was just amazed. That was just, just cool. Would you let us come back again? Oh, oh yeah. We, yeah. We, we, yeah. Back. We'd love to come back, folks, here at Fort Leavenworth with Mark, Chef Tail Mark, and myself, Ernie. So glad to be here. So, hey, stay tuned for more Better Horses TV. You care about your animals and feeding them the best. And that's where Purina's local Kansas City dealers step in, providing you experience, knowledge, service, and advice. Purina feed dealers are people who believe in community involvement and who believe in you. They have a passion for the feed industry and are committed to helping customers unlock the potential of every animal. If you are looking for a trusted source for your animals, look no further than your local Purina feed dealer, your partner in animal care. 